It's only been a couple of months since the iPhone 6 was released and people are already talking about the iPhone 7. I say we get even further ahead and start speculating about the iPhone 8. I think it's going to be round, wooden and waterproof on Wednesdays. Ok let's not get too far ahead, my name is Danny Burke and I think we should just stick with the iPhone 7 for now, right here on IO. Before we get started, I want to know what kind of phone you guys have. I'm thinking of buying a new phone soon and I need some advice. Which is good, which is bad, which should I get? Let me know in the comments below. So right now there are lots of rumours flying around the internet about the iPhone 7 which is set to be released sometime around September 2016. And because this is relatively soon after the iPhone 6 was released, people are thinking there has to be some pretty big changes this time. The first rumour flying around is that iPhone users can say goodbye to the home button. Yep, yeah, it's gone. Respected Apple analyst Gene Munster has put forward the idea that Apple's patented new iPhone 3D touch technology would remove the need for a home button altogether. This rumour started to gain traction online when designer Hassan Kamak posted this picture of what a home buttonless iPhone might actually look like. And no home button would mean the screen could cover the whole front of the phone. I just wonder how big and flat iPhones have to become before it gets a little bit annoying. I don't want a paper phone, I want a phone. I like a phone that I can hold, not some paper. Another big one is wireless charging. Now I know a lot of phones out there already have this, but seeing as iPhone has the biggest share of the market, if they decide to make phones with wireless charging, well that could be the end of charging your phone for everyone with a cable. Also the iPhone 7 is rumoured to have some kind of compatibility with the Apple Car. Ok if you guys haven't heard of the Apple Car, don't worry it's not meant to come out until about 2019. But when it does, people are saying that it's going to have a lot of interactive features with the iPhone 7. Maybe you'll be able to remote drive the car with the phone. Maybe you can unlock the car from anywhere in the world. Maybe you can even switch between the car and the phone like some kind of Apple transformer. I'm getting a little bit too carried away with the speculating right now. We'll leave it at that and I want you guys to let me know in the comments below if you've heard any rumours or what do you think the iPhone 7 will look like. Maybe it will look exactly the same. Anyway guys that's all I've got time for in this video. If you want to stay up to date with all the great content right here on IO then be sure to subscribe. There's also two videos floating over there if you want to click them right now to see some other great stuff. And uh, my name's Danny Burke, take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.